Some of you have asked for my Instant Pot bread pudding. I can't necessarily share the recipe with you because it comes out of a book. This is the book that it comes out of and I will put this in my Amazon store. And this is how awesome everybody loves the bread pudding. I make everybody write in my books, don't you? You, you guys should make everybody write in your books. And this is what you're going to need for your Instant Pot. The rack that it came with, you're gonna need a souffle dish. I'll put the link for this in my, in my uh, Amazon list. And you're gonna need your homemade sling. We all have a homemade sling, right? You should, you do now. You're gonna spray the inside of this with nonstick spray. Get yourself a large bowl. You're gonna put the eggs, the cream, the milk, the sugar, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, everything in this. And then you're gonna add six cups of diced challah bread. I'm gonna get to dicing now. You want chunks like this. See, I told you nobody was gonna knew it fell. Keep going. This is how much bread you'll have left over, usually. Mm-hmm. There you go. We can eat this. Where you put two cups of water in the bottom of your Instant Pot bowl. Nestle the rack in the bottom also. You've whisked all of the wet ingredients together. Now you're going to dump six cups of the bread and then stir it gently just until it incorporates. And if you have a lot of mixture left over, I always throw in some more chunks, which I think I'm gonna do this time too. That's what mine ends up looking like because I do not like a wet bread pudding. I like more of a dry bread pudding. And then you're gonna take this and put it in here. We're not done just yet. Hold on one more step. You're gonna take the melted butter that you've just melted and you're gonna drizzle it across the top. Ooh, that's hot. You're gonna put your sling right here. See, sling, we all have one, don't we? It's just foil, people, it's nothing special. And you're gonna gently pick it up, lower it down, tuck the ends in. You're gonna put this in your Instant Pot, set at high pressure for 25 minutes, 10 minutes, a natural release, and then release it, and we'll be back. While you're waiting for the bread pudding to come out of the Instant Pot, you can finish the rest of the bread. It's really good toasted with a lot of butter. There you go. It's time to make the whiskey sauce. Yes, I said whiskey sauce. And for this, we are going to use Evan Williams Honey Whiskey. So let's get this pretty prepared. I have not had any to drink, I swear. If you make this, go to Costco and get the big container of whipping cream because you're gonna need to make whipped cream to go with it also. So you use it for the actual bread pudding, for the sauce, and for the whipped cream topping. Just, just invest. You're also gonna need light brown sugar. So I've got the whipping cream, the whiskey, the light brown sugar. I'm waiting for butter in the pan to melt. And then this is the scary part because it's like complete, it's it's not done, not done, not done, done, overdone. Just in that, just, just, just like that, really quick. While we're waiting for the butter to melt, this is what some people have written. Every time I make this and somebody comes for dinner, I make them write in the book. Spectacularly stunning, OMG, but the best part was the company and fellowship. It was divine. If I had to guess what manna tastes like this with rum sauce on it, I only expect anything better on the other side. Wonderful. Love it. I like this one. This is your ticket to heaven. It's that good. Now we wait four minutes for it all to combine um, the butter and the brown sugar, and we hope we don't burn it because this is the part that I absolutely hate. It's so nerve-wracking. Let's take you over to look at it. Now we're just letting it simmer until it thickens. Oh, time to make the whipped cream. For the whipped cream, I don't want it super sweet, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna add some of my homemade vanilla, and we're going to whisk it until it is uh, stiff. My helper. He also likes the whiskey sauce. Whipped cream is done. Um, time to put the lid on it and put it in the fridge. It's gonna be safer in the fridge. It is almost party time, so this is what we have. The whiskey sauce is over here, getting a little bit thicker. And we need to release the bread pudding because it's done. Oh, and I made a berry cobbler just because I felt like it. We are now let it. We're going to stop. We're going to release the pressure. Look at this right here. That's the bread pudding. It puffed up. It smells amazing. It's going to be lifted out so that it can cool. And then we're going to go change our clothes. Bye, you guys. Well, and I'm going to wear them next time I go This is it, people. They're, it's they're amazing. And they are loving it. And this is all that's left. 
Going to get wet fast.